Hello everyone, welcome you all for the next lecture of digital real estate design. Today we will learn real estate design. Okay. Uh, this is a semester five subjects. The code is ECC503. So these are the outlines. First, we will learn real estate design methodology, then what is the design flow, hierarchy, and the concept of regularity, modularity, and the topology. So starts now. This is real estate design methodology means what is the performance according to the time what is the impact of different styles design styles upon this design cycle upon the circuit performance how so see here this is design time on the x-axis and the circuit performance on the y-axis okay now designs are two types full custom and semi-custom again listen carefully Designs are two types, semi-custom, full custom. What is the difference? Uh, now, first we are taking the example of full custom. Okay, Full custom means we are uh, designing from zero. We are starting from zero to end. We are starting, we are designing something, we are designing any chip, we are designing whatever. But we are starting from zero. So design time is longer. See here, design time is from here to here. Longer design time. Here it is written. Longer design time until maturity. We are taking this much design time. But what do you think? If design time is longer, then performance will be more because we are testing in a small, a small block also. We are testing a small, small block also. So longer design time until maturity. So more performance will be there. More opportunity for performance improvement. You know everything. So you can find out the small, small error also. That is your full custom. Full custom means we are starting from zero to and So design time is longer. If longer design time, more opportunity for the performance improvement. That is about the full custom design. Now just come to the second part. That is your semi-custom. Semi-custom means like you're uh, designing any chip and you're taking a small ready-made blocks. You're designing a big, uh, design but you are taking a small small design a small small part ready made part ready made blocks okay so definitely design time is shorter shorter design time until maturity but less opportunity how less opportunity if there is error in that ready made block then it will be difficult for you to find the error because you have taken the ready made blocks you can't find or you will find it will take some time so shorter design time until maturity, but less opportunity for performance improvement. Difference between semi-custom is you're designing something, but you are taking something already uh, designed. Okay, uh, you're taking something ready-made blocks. That is semi-custom, and this full custom you're designing from the start. So more performance, more opportunity for performance improvement, the full custom, but less opportunity for performance improvement, the semi-custom. Okay, so now what do you think? Which one is better? Full custom. Now, see later. Now, progressive performance improvement of VLSI product. Okay. Now, see, this is technology window one, this is window two. Suppose you have taken a longer design time for better performance in the current generation. Okay. Uh, because uh, now we are talking, suppose it's a current generation and you have taken this much design time. Okay. So, you have taken longer design time to so definitely your performance will be more better. Your product will be very very good, okay, because you have taken so much design time. But when you launch your product, when you launch your product, but after a very small time, new product comes in the market. After some time, new product comes in the market. But what that new product have taken a very small design time, suppose. So what will happen? What will happen economically point of view? Economically point of view, the design time should be shorter that's a design trade -off. if you take the the longer design time then after some time your next product will be in the come in the market so ideally design time should be shorter and production time should be more launching time should be more product sales should be more so design time should be shorter production should be uh, longer for economically point of view but for performance point of view design should be better so these are the trade offs okay uh, next is VLSI design. So that's very, very important topic. Y chart, that's a, uh, that's a beginning of the VLSI. 
okay suppose you are designing any chip you are designing something so it's divided in three part behavioral domain structure domain and layout domain behavioral domain structure domain and layout domain so whatever you are the target chip whatever your target is first of all behavior should be in mind what should be the behavior of my chip what should be the structure and how many size what is the layout what is the area of that particular these are the parameters behavioral domain structure domain and the layout domain okay now comes behavioral domain so whatever that your target chip first of all first part of evaluation you should design a algorithm you should keep in mind what is the behavior of the target chip that is a algorithm that is defined by the algorithm once algorithm defined then you have to define the structure of that architecture of that chip an architect is always defined by the processor once the algorithm is clear for your target chip then comes to the architecture part so architecture of process is defined okay now you know the behavior you know the structure now comes to the placement comes to the plan chip flow plan is whatever the area whatever the area means how this that chip is means how much was size what is the layout so that is the main part placement okay once algorithm defined an architecture process are defined then the chip flow find or area should be defined that is the first part of evaluation now come to the second part okay now the target is clear this is a chip this is architecture this is the flow plan now finite state machine is whatever modules you are using for your design because uh, suppose this is your block main block but this is not the excel block it is divided in some small small blocks so what are those modules that is defined okay what are those modules so that is your finite state machine okay that is your finite state machine clear so finite state machine that is the behavior of those modules but those modules are defined by structure that means registers and alu what is the arithmetic logic in registers okay it's the behavior that's a structure now actual placement means how those modules are placed how those modules are placed and some cad designs computer aided designs some cad tools are defined for the placement because uh, whatever connection you are using but a small connection should be there because otherwise interconnection delay create and that delay dominate your circuit delay we will learn later but once this module is defined that module place now whatever module is suppose registers alu whatever then This is second uh, evolution. Now comes the third part, that is module description. The whatever module we are using, that module should be defined. What is the behavior of that module? And each module is defined by leaps and means. Uh, we are decomposing the main uh, large system to big to small. Oh, sorry, large to small to small to small. So this is defined by the leaf cell. Ah, uh, first main chip design uh, decompose in the. Modules, modules decompose in the leaf cell. Leaf cell decompose in the transistors. Okay, so now leaf cell come to cell placement. Now final is uh, defined by the equation, Boolean equation, and Boolean equations comes to transistors. So transistors are final level design, and this is the mass. Okay, and this is the mass. Means suppose for example you are designing half atom. Okay, and half sorry. You are designing a um, half adder, but that half adder, but that half adder consists of some n carry, some n carry, and the some equation of sum is a plus b bar, sorry a xor b, and carry is a into b. Okay, so this is your half adder defined by the Boolean equation. So first you know the half adder. Then half adder divided in the sum and carry, and sum and carry the equation is a xor b and a into b bar. But if this a xor b, if this a xor b, uh, a bar b plus a b bar that takes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight transistors. So okay, so that uh, you will learn in the part of layout when I'll explain you the layout design or re uh, or realization of the equations. So how many transistors are used in the particular equations? Then the layout of particular. design okay so this is evolution comes in the four part first evolution is the main chip defined main chip behavior by algorithm structure by processor and the flow plan area the second evolution now module description 
called by file state machine, then behavior description, architecture description for resistant ALU, or we can say structure description, then first design breaks in the modules, then module placement, some CAD design tools. Then modules, this first main chip, chip is breaked into module, module is breaked into cells, then cell descriptions uh, by behavior, cell architecture by structure and the cell placement. Now cell is breaked into transistor, it's a final design. That's defined by the bullet equation, bullet equation by transistor and the mass. So this is your Y chart, okay? That is your Y chart. Now next is, so the I have already explained behavioral domain, structure domain, and this uh, geometric layout domain, okay? So this is your Y chart. Now next is design hierarchy. So suppose we are designing four bit full adder. A four bit adder means that uh, uh, suppose you are adding, uh, suppose you are adding, oh, one second, one, one, zero, one, zero, zero, one, one. That is called four bit adder. Okay. It looks very simple. Minor addition is very easy. But when you design this adder, that is somewhat complex. So it's four bit adder means four full adder we used. Four full adder we used, okay? So four adder. Now four, all the adders have carry and sum. Carry sum, carry sum, carry sum. And equation of carry is also A dot B bar means we are uh, using some AND gate, OR gate, AND gate, OR gate. So this is decomposition from top to down or approach or bottom to down. But this is some here, okay? structure decomposition of orbit adder, okay? So main, so block is divided in some modules, what is divided in some uh, cells, cells divided in some transistors. So that is your de design here. But next is concept of regularity, modularity, and locality. Regularity means whatever decomposition of large system should result in not only simple but similar blocks. Means finally, if you will see, finally here and or, and or, and or means we are de decomposing this large system into small blocks, but that us similar blocks. This and is and same. This and and block same. The designing of one is there, then you can paste it there. And or or same. Carry, carry, same, some, some, same. In the behavior of all the same. So uh, that is called regularity. That is called regularity. Regularity means whatever the hierarchical decomposition of last system, that should result in not only simple, but also similar blocks. Okay, that is example of parallel multiplication array. Multiplication we will learn in module four. Modularity means uh, modularity means the well-defined modules. If you are taking the suppose you are designing this much, this is here again. You are taking ready-made modules and 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 and, but they should be tested. There should be no error. That should be well-defined. That is called modularity. Whatever design you use, whatever blocks you are using, that should be well-defined. The functions and interfaces, whatever is the connection, that should be well-defined. Okay, because each block and module can be designed independently from each other. Whether behavior is same, whatever the behavior is same, since behavior is same, but design is different. Okay, uh, means design is independent from each other. Every block is independent from each other. So function should be very different. Next is locality means the connections. Whatever connections we are using, that if it's a long distance connection, that error can be more. So connection should be mostly uh, small and it should be mostly between neighboring modules. Okay, it's connection should be between neighboring modules. That is a concept of locality. So thank you so much. If you like this, uh, you can like and share. God bless you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.